What I'm going to do whilst we're talking is I'm just going to um, share a picture of Mosey so people can get oh, sure. an Actually, idea yeah. of um, of what yeah, it looks right. like and your details <laughs> are there as well. So mm-hmm. people can see there's like a little pot in the pack and there's some instructions and like you say, it's, I mean, I'm just coming back so people can see you now. As far as like a hand span, I'm just putting up my hands. Are we yeah, saying that the I syringe, have... is it like, is it like the, 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 it looks like it's like a hand. Oh, you've got one there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm five foot six. And so my hands, you know, take that into consideration. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not, in, it's not terribly long. And it's not, it's not terrifying. <laughs> um, and it's is not it? terribly short. It's not terrifying. It's also, you know, we designed it with purpose um, so that it would be um, a length that would accommodate most women okay. and that you don't want it to be too long so it won't surpass the cervix yeah. or, you know, be off to the side or somewhere else. Okay. Um, and so we, so it's, it's a very comfortable approachable (laughs) size so let's let's just go to some of the questions that we've got from facebook and the whole point of doing these chats on the ultimate fertility guide and on the fertility podcast is to enable people to ask you questions and annabelle has said is it complicated to use now you've kind of covered it there um but um i suppose we're we're so kind of putting pressure on every element that we're bringing into our ttc journey um, you explained mm-hmm. how you did it on your own. And I'm actually going to tie in Annabelle and James's question because they're they're mm-hmm. kind of connected. James has said, is there a timing issue from getting the cargo into the pot and into the syringe? So is there? Let's talk through the sure. literal ins and outs of it. Yes. Okay. So first, um, as far as a timing issue... For some people, this can be an advantage because they, you know, so I'm going to flip it first and come back and explain, but essentially as a couple, there are some couples whose work schedules are just not that great. And so he may be leaving early in the morning and she may be just waking up when he's leaving. And so Mosey might be a good option for them where he can do his thing, set it on the, set it on the bed, you know, the nightstand and she Uh. within, you know, a certain amount of time can wake up and use it. Um, so that's, uh, you know, something to think about on the, on the flip side. 